Hey, welcome to this training. This is about how to set up your type form, how to set up your uh, application form. Now, there are two ways in which to do this. Uh, one is by using a thing called type form. If you go into typeform.com, you'll be able to sign up there. Uh, now, in the UK, it's £28 a month. In the US, I I think it's thirty dollars, but again, don't quote me on that. Okay, the easiest thing with Typeform, if you go into your Visible Empire, your invisibleempire.com, click on the Renaissance HTFF training. And watch video number six in there. The how to leverage our done for you emails again landing in the states go through it it's actually more in depth and they've also put in uh, two videos one of their one of their questions that they ask and one of actually how to use type form sorry my apologies this is video number four number six is about how to set up the auto emails video number four how to set up your application page so you will have access to all of the questions that should be in your type form okay and you also have the link for their thank you page which is where you send people after they have completed their application one way or the other so you see what you've got here you've got two videos okay video number one 20 minutes long is their questions land and estates go into a lot more in depth of how to set everything up what to do what not to do and then here you have generic type form training and this also goes through how to set it up as well so you've got those two videos on type form that's one way of doing it there is another way of doing it okay and you can actually do it via get response now if you do it via get response it will be free okay this is a call that you know only you can make if you'd rather not pay the money I understand I was in the same situation I tried it with get response first and went for a more professional look with type form so I understand that in get response you can do it and this is how you do it so when you get response you've got your dashboard etc you go into surveys and you can create a new survey you've got your settings so you type in the name type in the title of the survey so you know renaissance application a quick description renaissance application if you want a single opt-in confirmation that's exactly what you want in your thank you url uh, that could be that could be anything that you want it to be you can send it to a video if you really want it so basically the minute that they finish the application where do you want them to go to um, again you can always use the or what I'd recommend you do is to use that link there that because that's where you want people to end up one way or another okay so use that link there in order to send the people that finish your survey again you just click on create survey I'll just type in my name Rob Rob and Rob. You see, I'll just copy and paste. Oh, just copy and paste that in there. Let's go on to the next step. Yep, so again, the setup's a bit different. Look at the questions. So, in the video, video number four, look at the questions that. Stapes and Landon are asking copy and paste those questions okay 
and again fairly straightforward if it's a multiple choice with one answer you just drag that in there as such okay then you can just edit it as you go along if it's a multiple choice of multiple answers you just drag it underneath okay if it's a text like it's a paragraph that's fine yeah I basically copy how they're doing it on type form but just do it on get response instead okay then you've got a subscription form you know etc you probably won't need the subscription form but it is there anyway okay so after you've followed through all of that and you see with the edits you want to make sure that all fields are required that's important all fields are required now the idea of this is that you want to be catching at least their name their email address and their contact number ideally depending on where you think your prospects are coming from you want to capture their Skype address as well if you do put in a question about Skype addresses though don't make it a required field because it is possible that some people genuinely don't have Skype okay so feel free to put Skype in there but don't have it as a required field because some people don't have Skype and it's as simple as that really then what you do you would click on save and publish survey once you've set up your survey and the key thing here is that you'll see that you get a link here which I've highlighted now we want to copy and paste that link okay because if you remember in ClickFunnels I spoke to you about changing the links for the application well, this is exactly what you would do you'd go into the webinar broadcast room you edit your page there's uh, Lannan again so once it's loaded up again what you do you would click on the box here and you would copy and paste your URL into here okay and you do the same with the bigger green box as well and then that will send people straight to your application now the good and bad thing about that is yes people are going to be filling out your applications if you're asking people to potentially sign up for a $5,000 investment into Renaissance or even a $2,000 Renaissance product more than likely you know they're going to want to see a, a, a bit more professionalism but if you're not prepared or don't want to pay for type form now again that's understandable you can do it via get response as I've just shown you okay there's no reason why it won't work and you can follow up that way okay always with click funnels whenever you do something click on the save button always regularly get into the habit of clicking on save whenever you do something okay just in case so that'll be how to set up your type form if you do go for type form in the members section under useful links there is a link there for type form uh, they do certain reward systems so when you get people signing up under yourself and you recommend type form uh, I believe in the US you can also get paid for doing that as well which is great for you because it means you get to help other people and you get to make what we call back-end income as well so after we've done this you will have a funnel which has been given to you by myself you will have integrated your get response account to click funnels and either using type form or using get response you would have set up and linked a survey as well so your funnel is pretty much done there's only one more thing that we need to do and that will be in the next training video and that is to set up what we call your auto responder